lazy this week. I really intended to come and knock out five or six or maybe ten reviews this week, and it sure hasn't happened, as y'all can tell. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Let's not let the past hold us back anymore. Interview Primus. So anyway, here we have Primus. Primus is a beach ball. He's very spiky. He's very colorful. Uh, I always pictured Cybertron just gray. Apparently there's a lot of blue and gold to it. Uh, gold up here. They mention on the box that uh, see the, the, uh, the sites of Cybertron, famous cities, and I'm like, you sure could have given me a map to let me know where some of these famous cities are. Alright, let's get into the transformation. You take the Omega Lock, put it in this little receptacle up here, and push... Oh, wait. Let's do this from the front so y'all get the full effect. Pull it back. And there you go. I don't like that. You Omega Lock lights up and kills the batteries. There's no way to store this without having it actually plugged into him. So, anyway, like I was saying, anytime it's in him, it's draining. Um, so you got the guns flipped out. That's the first part of his transformation. You're going to flip up this little butt flap right here. And you're going to extend the legs. Hasbro and Takara, in their infinite wisdom, has given him a battle station mode. I hope you hear the enthusiasm in my voice, because it's, it's very hard to fake it. So, you got him flipped out right here. Kind of push out the missiles from right there. The cannons turn and flip down. And there you have, in all of its, I guess, glory, is his battle station mode. He's got uh, the little, all the guns in his shins are pointing out. He's got his missile launchers. He's got his cannons. And I think this mode is set enough for itself, so I'm going to move on. You're going to take and rotate at the hips 180 degrees. This figure is cursed. This is this is actually the second time I've sat down to re-record this. Every time something's gone wrong. My battery just died in my camera. I'm not going back and restarting. I'm proceeding. So anyway, right here is his feet. It, very much small, more diminutive. Uh, diminutive? They're tiny. Tinier feet than on his brother Unicron. He's very stable. Can't pose him all that wild and up on one leg or nothing because he just doesn't have that much area to work with as far as that goes. Uh, next step in the transformation, once again with the Omega Lock. Take and put it into his chest right there and push it straight up and again you get the uh, the, the sound effects coming out of him and his eyes light up uh, I don't think I can get this to where y'all can see that it's doesn't light up near as bright as like on Unicron so anyway that's him he's transformed the only thing else you can do is pull the fists out of his forearms a little bit and to answer Robot Adventures question. The hands are poseable. Each finger is individually poseable, just like on Unicron. Okay, another set of dead batteries later. And back into the review. The thumb, you might remember from Unicron, could take and pose like that. Well, his uh, Primus's, all it does is come in and out. It doesn't go up and down. So uh, you're a little bit limited by that. I like the shoulder cannons. They, uh, they look good. The uh, stuff in his shins is kind of kind of gets lost to me. Uh, I would have rather had some stuff come out of the planet halves than have this huge gaping hole in his shin. But, you know, I, I can see past it because he's got so much going on in different areas that you kind of can forgive that. He has an incredible amount of molded detail 
inside of here on the side of the guns the chest has several little molded details that look very good uh, really anywhere you point at them there is detail molded in uh, but so much of it is all the same color it just gets lost he really could have used some sort of a, a dry brushing I think it's called it's called or a, whatever it's called you know just to bring out the detail make it pop they did a real good job of that on uh, Blackout, which is going to be my next review. I like him. I'm going to show you my biggest complaint about him right now. Do you notice a problem here? i tell you what. Let me get them to where they're the same distance from the camera. Starscream is huge. Primus is just big. Omega Sentinel is huge. Primus is just big. Metroplex, a leader class, is taller than Primus. Now, he, he doesn't have the width of the bulk, but still, he's taller and he's on permanent display. Primus isn't. Prime from Armada. Prime is only a hair shorter than Primus. He, the figure doesn't really compare, but I'm just talking about size-wise. 20th Prime is almost the exact same height, but in all fairness, he did cost, when I bought him, like $18 more. The Planet Mode, I'm going to give a 5 out of 5, because it's the best Planet Mode we've seen yet. I mean, it's not like on Unicron, where they stuck all kinds of panels just to make him kind around. This guy is a ball. If they wouldn't have put have these two pegs on each leg that he actually set rests on in Planet Mode, he just roll around. There is no flat part on him, and I like that. So that's why I say Planet Mode 5 out of 5. That's actually how, when I display him, I usually display him like that. Robot Mode has some limitations. The uh, shoulders, the arms cannot rotate past about right there. Since the shoulder pads don't ro move with the arms, they're a big limiting factor there. If you try and get him to like aim his blaster on his, uh, oh, I didn't show that. That's the bad thing about having to redo a review. You forget what you've gone over. Just take and use any planet key, of course. You know, they're all interchangeable. The barrels pop out about half an inch, and the whole pod pops up a little bit. And really, I like them better with the barrels extended and down because this guy is bulky enough already. He doesn't need to have a gun popping up this high out of his arm. He he looks good like this. It's very close to the back of his wrist. And to me, this is the best way to have him displayed as far as arms go. In his knee here, some sort of weird little grabber claw thing that has an articulated little thumb on it. It, uh, it doesn't add much to the figure. So just forget you ever saw that. Not the most poseable figure. Like I said, the feet are very limited. They're very stable. As long as he's upright, there's no problems with him falling over backwards like on Unicron. I say, if you take your time with him, I could probably get him into a fairly good pose, but the biggest problem to get him in any kind of fancy pose is just his bulk getting in the way of himself. Unicron doesn't have that much of a problem because so much of his planet mode is made up of the, uh, the shells that I don't like. So that's what you're paying for right here, to have no shells, you're paying, you have to pay the price of limited posability, which, really, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take and pause this, and I'm going to get him into a better position. So here we have Primus. He's turning around, kind of surprised looking, and just to destroy any sense of scale whatsoever, I gave him Prime's gun. That's about the best pose I can get him in right now. He does have uh, waist articulation as part of the transformation, so there you go. One more review down, and... Next time you see me, we're going to be reviewing Blackout.